Next movie review is Little Shop of Horrors. When I first heard of this, Little Shop of Horrors. So, yeah. It's awesome. Um, it has Rick Moranis. Once again, another Rick Moranis movie. Where the hell did he go? He used to come back. Like, right now. Because he, he was... I love him. I love him. So, he used to come back. Um... Ellen Green, Vincent Gardenia, and then also has cameos by John Candy, Steve Martin, and Bill Murray. Um, and I love when Steve Martin works with his friends. Um, you could tell that he has so much fun. It also has Jim Belushi um, in it as well. Um, but it's just... Steve has so much fun with his friends. Like, he and Mick, Rick Moranis, um, they worked together many times in the, before this. Before Little Shop of Words. But, um, there, he just, good. And Bill Murray and Steve Martin, um, they're good friends. It's just like, you know. And Mick Moranis worked with Bill Murray and Ghostbusters. So, it's a little, you know. I love it. I don't know. When people that are friends work together, you can tell how much fun they have. Like, yeah. Um, my thing is, Steve was mean. <laughs> like, he was really mean. He was an abusive boyfriend. And I don't like that. I don't like that he played someone like that. But at the same time, I still love him. Like, it's weird. I don't think it's possible for me not to like Steve Martin. So, um... But he, I didn't know he was in this at all. Like, I didn't know Steve had any part of this. And I was, the credits said, special appearance by Steve Martin. I think he's stalking me because I, I watched um, Roxanne. And then I watched this. And he's in it. And um, I didn't know that. I didn't know, Bill, I didn't know Bill Murray was in this. Or John Candy, for that matter, either. Or Jim Belushi. Um, but I love John Candy. I just, he was one of my favorite people of all time when I was growing up. So, I love him. I love anything to do with John Candy. I think he was a great person and adorable and sweet and good to everybody. So, I don't know. I'm just him. Um, not that many good people anymore in Hollywood and like, just to watch someone like that, but not how like people loved him and everything. Just nice to know. Um, no Shop of Horrors. It was off of Netflix on July 1st. It was also directed by Frank Oz, who's responsible for The Muppet Show and pretty much Sesame Street. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think... That Rick Moranis and Ellen Green were adorable together. They had such great chemistry. I love when her daydream of burying him. I love the bright colors. I love the scenery in that part. Um, I feel the end. You know what's going to happen. And I feel like they should have just gotten to it. They put too much the end. Um, like when he's fighting the plant, like there's too much there. Um, I was like, can you just hurry it up and just, you know, do what you're going to do. Um, but it's still good. I still really, really liked it. And I thought it was funny and sweet and it's a musical. I love musicals a lot. Um, again, Rick Moranis, he needs to come back now. Like, honest to God. I was looking at his, um, movie that he did, and he used to be in, like, everything. <laughs> like, um, I remember, like, he'd always, he'd see, like, a new movie coming out, and they'd be, like, Marianas in it, the, on the trailer. And now it's, like, nothing. Um, Steve Martin used to do more, too, but, you know. <laughs> um. I don't know if it had anything to do with the fact that most of Hollywood scripts are dumb now and they don't want to do it anymore. Um, which I don't really blame him if that's the case, but Steve can write, so. Um, I know Steve was in a movie last year that was, I heard it was really bad, but I don't know if it had anything to do with the writing or anything like that, but if he did, then that's horrible, because Steve is a great writer. 
Um, but Rick and Rick Moranis and Steve Martin and Bill Murray, they need to just like do stuff together, like bring each other back. Cause I miss them so much. Um, Bill Murray has to get out of that Garfield crap and get back to, you know, be Bill Murray. Like, it breaks my heart. It really does. To <laughs> see, like, Bill Murray, like, he was top of the comedy game. And now he does stuff like Garfield. Like, no, Bill Murray. And then Steve Martin was in, I heard, one of the worst movies ever. And that is horrible because Steve Martin was in some of the best movies of all time. Like Roxanne, Little Shop of Horrors, Father of the Bride. You know, like, no. And then Nick Moranis just disappeared. Jim Belushi used to do good stuff, but now he also does crap. Like, it's not their fault. You need to work. I understand, but it's just getting ridiculous how many talented people are all of a sudden okay with not doing good quality stuff. And I'm okay. Um, but anyway, um, but again, like Rick Moranis, there's a Twitter, there's people on Twitter who are, want you back, so you need to come back. You need to come back for me. You need to come back for society because they know because you're amazing and you're great and you're funny and I think you're adorable too. A little dorky guy, so cute. Um, but uh, it's a little plea to him. <laughs> I need him to come back in my life, um, in my childhood. So um, yeah, that's all. Goodbye. Mm.